Hello everyone, this is Neuronium. Welcome back to Destroy All Humans Remake. Without further ado, it's time we start up a new game. Oh, new save data. I'm playing this on the PS5 version, by the way. I forgot to mention that. Humans of planet Earth, be advised. While experience has been upgraded, the content and historical record of the original invasion of the Furons remains near identical clone. The story, words, and images contained within this may be shocking to the modern human brain. Hello, friends. Have you ever gazed up into the night sky and wondered at the possibility of life on other planets? What marvelous beings might exist out there, hands extended in friendship, awaiting the moment when we humans take our first tentative steps into space? What tales will be told of that glorious day when we are first contacted by our brothers from beyond the stars? Systems go, General. Four. Come on, baby. Show us what you got. Three. What the hell? Two. What in the blue blazes is that? One. No, wait. Stop the countdown. Incompetent fool. I should never have sent you. What's shaking, Pox? You look a little, what's the word? Constipated. <sighs> Let's just say I hope you turn out to be less of an evolutionary dead end than your predecessor. You lost me. Shall I tell you a secret? Few of our people know this. But the DNA patterns in our cloning banks are becoming more and more degraded with each new clone. That's bad, right? Only if we want to retain our immortality through cloning. Of course it's bad! I sent Crypto-136 in search of a planet we visited many eons ago. A planet seeded with pure Furon DNA. But I lost contact. Let me get this straight. You sent me, uh, him. Crypto-136 to a hostile planet, and he's disappeared. Maybe captured, maybe even being tortured as we speak. Well, I wouldn't jump to any conclusion. I bet you wouldn't. Let me tell you something, Pox. You're a smart cookie. But there's a time for thought, and there's a time for action. And this is one of those times. Which? The second one. <sighs> Perhaps you're right, 137. Of course I'm right. You kidding me? A cryptosporidium captured by a bunch of monkeys? We gotta go in. We gotta crack some craniums. We gotta rescue me. Him. He's gotta rescue me. I mean, we gotta... I gotta... Brains, man. When do I get to blow things up? Patience, Crypto. Patience. I take your point. Prepare the mothership. That's what I'm talking about. So, what's the name of this crummy planet? Our destination. The planet Earth. And that's how the game begins. 
Already a star-studded cast as Crypto's voiced by Jay Grand Albershed and Richard Horvitz voices Ortha Pox. You might know Richard Horvitz from pretty much any alien related video game or television series, probably most famously Invader Zim. So here we have our Welcome mission to my select. Laboratory. You may not have known this, but I flatter myself to be something of an inventor. In my spare time, I've been developing some truly impressive weapon and ability upgrades. I'd be happy to share them with you. If you've got something for me in trade, say some of that delicious DNA you've collected. Hmm? So yes, this right here is the hub. So you have a mission structure, which as you can see, there are uh, different missions and there's going to be different places around the United States. In Pox's lab, you can upgrade Crypto with his weapons, which it shows you all the weapons, his shield, Dash, which was new to the remake of Destroy All Humans, is a new uh, Dash ability, Cortex Scan, Psychokinesis, Brain Extractor, and then on the other hand, we have our Flying Saucer. Which has the death ray, the sonic boom, the quantum deconstructor, the saucer shields, the repulsotron. So you're going to want to upgrade these. Uh, otherwise the game does get hard. How do you get DNA? You'll find out. But here we have the Furon Handbook Review Past Tutorials. Furon Igami. Consor sources and locations analyzes of the Furon Invasion of Earth. Skin Selection. A Fashion forward capsule collection of with an outfit for every invasion occasion and the invasion report keeping track of statistics to motivate advancements uh, advancement oriented furon invader. So let's go into the skin selector. So as you can see, we have Midas Touch, Ain't No Man, Worst Nightmare, and then we've got um Mutant, Pale Rider. And there are more costumes you can unlock in the game, just to show you one of them. So, Invasion of the Body Swappers. That's for swapping costumes. It's strange. I thought I didn't... Um, I could have sworn I didn't buy the special edition, but I guess I did? Question mark? So we're going to go with Crypto 137. I might go with uh, Krampus at one point. Classic Crypto is interesting uh, for what they do for that. But for right now, let's go to Destination Earth and do our first mission. Grab incoming grenades or missiles with PK and throw them back at enemies. Yep. You might notice pop in a lot. That was one of the things that this game suffered from a lot was pop in of textures. to Cryptosporidium 137. Come in, Cryptosporidium. Crypto here. How's the view from the safety of the mothership? Very funny. Let's just say I'm glad I'm up here and you're down there. Loathsome little planet. Now, Crypto! 
To ensure this invasion runs smoothly, it is imperative we identify the dominant life forms on this world. Those lactating bovoids are likely candidates. Surely you don't mean those foul-smelling gas bags beyond the fence? Yes, I'm afraid I do. But they're covered in nipples. Now, Cryptosporidium! Going to see. Hey, crypto, do verify your suit is working under Earth's atmospheric conditions. Get a move on! So, movement with left stick, right stick is for camera, touchpad is the pause button. And then we've got different things right there. So, uh, jump with A. A. We can peer jump with into the X. minds of lower life forms via the cortex scan. Rip the preliterate thoughts from their pathetic little brains. Moo. Primitive, yet profound. Scan another one. Again with the moo? I think these lactating bovoids are trying to fool us. They eat with their mouths? Ugh, I think I'm going to be violently ill. Attention, Earth creatures. This planet is now part of the Furon Empire. Your benevolent masters welcome you. At this time, we wish to abduct you for the purpose of scientific research. The procedure will be protracted and invasive. Do you have any objections? Earth creature, I am addressing you. Respond or be vaporized. I don't care how many stomachs you have. I don't have time for this. All right. The neurons have evolved the astounding power of psychokinesis, Crypto. Target an object or creature, then lift it into the sky. Use PK to finish off the belligerent bovines. Slam them into the ground. Perfect! Curse these creatures. Good work, Crypto! Mmm, Martha. You didn't tell me we was having barbecue for dinner. Wait a minute. That ain't steak. That's... Holy Mother... Martha, give me the shotgun! This looks like a job for the Zapomatic. Fry that farmer! <laughs> Extract and collect the brainstem from what's left of the agricultural engineer. You can consume the brainstem and collect the furon DNA. Sweet. Harold, come on back. You've got to see this. They got a talking horse on the TV. I ain't never seen nothing like... Ah! Little green spaceman! Ah! I am not green. So, shields. As long as shields have energy, they protect you from harm. The current gauge shows the charge shield when the shield isn't fully charged. When you get hit or touch water, shield energy depletes. Some impacts may deal more damage than others. If not, if not damaged further, the shield slowly recharges after a few seconds. The shield bar turns red when it's out of energy. Any hit could be lethal. Dodge projectiles or retreat from a battle from a battle until shields begin recharging. Collect brain stem, collecting brain stems reduces the sealed recharge delay. The saucer also has a shield to recharge. Use its drain ability on humans or vehicles instead. The saucer's shield doesn't recharge automatically. Be merciless. Let none survive. Oh. 
ain't gonna. Where is it? Oh, there he is. He's gonna collect some brain. Brain drain! There we go. Now, let's see if I can. Nope, I can't. Let's get some more Furon DNA from the brain stem. Good thing that they're bad shots. All I have to do is bob and weave. Ooh. So this right here is if you're on probe harvest season they give you um fried chicken good work crypto evening ms turnip seed we got a call from Farmer Dixon over the other side of the state road. Said he heard some pretty strange noises coming from over this way. Little green spaceman! What is that? A new silo? Electrocuted him with a big arm! Crypto! That human law enforcement officer is attempting an unauthorized entry of your spacecraft. If those pea brains were to get their hands on your quantum deconstructor, they could rip a hole in the space-time continuum. Oh, the Furonity. Vaporize them, Crypto! No. So, we got X to jetpack. Uh, Crypto can't swim, by the way. Crypto, my radar shows more humans approaching. Hurry to the saucer! Boom. I want to see if this gives me more. You're under. Get in your flying saucer and annihilate everything in your path. Okay. Wanton destruction is always nice. Take a spin in your saucer. Get a feel for the controls and then go ahead and start shooting. Destroy all buildings. Leave no trace. Bomb those monkeys back to the Stone Age. industrial complex we can't allow them to alert their leaders to our presence exterminate them now open fire crypto i hereby give you official permission to destroy all humans And 
Look out! There are more to the north in the bushes. The bushes, you say? Replenish your saucer's shields by training any human vehicle. If you hold L1, uh, you can have the saucer fire straight down. Tank. Excellent work, Crypto. Did you see what I saw? You bet your sweet ass I did. What did you see? Little green man in a flying saucer wiping out the best infantry unit in the U.S. Army. Right, good. Me too. Green? Not gray? Don't be a stiff. You know what it means? Absolutely. What? It means the papers got it right for once. Get on the horn to silhouette. We've got the worst case scenario. The eggheads were actually onto something? I don't believe it. Believe it. Roswell was only the beginning. The invasion is on. Mission successful. So, drown a cow in the lake, kill a farmer's wife using a chicken. Okay. So, I forgot that there are uh, new, like, mission little side stuff that you can do. So, cattle mutilation pandemic. Farmer disappears amidst cow abuse allegations. Who is next, Miss Rockwell? Find out on page three. Now then, I know what you're thinking. What can I, a lowly novice, do to help bring about the destruction of Earth and the inevitable reign of the Furon Empire? Well, I'll tell you. It was in the earliest days of the Empire we realized our species was doomed. Eons of waging war on inferior races with unregulated atomic weaponry had mutated our genes. We could not propagate due to our complete and utter lack of genitalia. Fortunately, a Furon ship happened upon Earth on its way back from destroying the Martians. Human society was young and nubile. Sailors on a foreign planet letting off steam, one thing led to another. Long story short, every human being alive today has buried deep in his genetic code a strand of Furon DNA. Over the eons, we've learned to clone ourselves, but with each iteration, the information degrades, and the results are increasingly unpredictable. The Furon genes in humanity's DNA are ancient, uncorrupted. They represent the future of the Furon race. If only we can get at them. Okay. So we have a plan. Get DNA. A saucer upgrade, perhaps? No? How about your gun? Or your abilities? Mm? So, we can do the zap matic So we got... Um... Increase the zap cell battery charge capacity. 
and then uh, the electric arc charges a few additional targets. Basically, you can hit multiple people, but uh, brain doing abilities is more the better idea. But I th think the only thing we can get is the zap on cell upgrade. So buy that. A pox on your gear. And as you can see, we have a bunch of stuff. So on hollow pox decks, replay missions and other handy invasion improving activities. Nope, I do not want to return to the main menu. What is the saucer got for an upgrade? Nuclear blister inducer increases duration of the ground burns and increases death rate charging capacity. You're going to want these. So, let's see. So, as you can see, you can go back to Turnip Seed Farm. There are Furon uh, little probes, that thing that we got uh, after we killed the farmhands. Those will give you DNA. I'll just go to Turnip Seed Farm. You can go to these locations on your own and, like, do a bunch of stuff. It's actually rather interesting. Transmog results are random. For rarer ammo, keep transmuting. So you might be wondering what transmog is. Uh, we'll get into that later. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to check out more remastered content, check out the top link for a playthrough of Medieval Remastered. And for a non-spoiler review of Destroy All Humans Remake, check out the bottom link for a review done by yours truly.